Hello students, in today's video we will understand four different types of insulin preparations with the help of a chart. Now insulin is usually injected in the subcutaneous tissue that is in the fatty tissue under the skin. Insulin is a peptide hormone that reduces levels of glucose in the blood and normalizes them. Now insulin preparations are mainly categorized based on uh, differences in their onset, peak and duration of action. Now here onset refers to how quickly the insulin preparation acts. Like for example, this preparation shown here in the red. It starts producing its effect 30 minutes after the subcutaneous injection. Now peak, peak refers to the time taken by the insulin preparation to reach its maximum plasma concentration. Here peak is attained uh, within 2 to 3 hours. Now duration is how long the insulin preparation remains effective. Now here in this case, this preparation is effective for 6 to 8 hours. Now a look at this chart. Now here x axis represents time after the administration of subcutaneous injection of insulin. Y axis shows plasma insulin levels. There are four main types of insulin preparations namely rapid acting insulin, short acting insulin, intermediate acting insulin and long acting insulin. Now rapid acting insulin and short acting insulin preparations control postprandial that is after meals rise in the levels of glucose in the blood. While intermediate and long acting insulin preparations control glucose levels when we are not eating that is between the meals and overnight. Thus these rapid acting insulin preparations and short acting insulin preparations are used along with intermediate or long acting insulin preparations. Now let's first talk about the rapid acting insulin preparations. Now this blue color graph is for rapid acting insulin preparations namely insulin Lispro, insulin Espart and insulin Glulysine. These are termed as insulin analogs because these are insulin with slightly modified molecular structure synthesized by recombinant DNA technology. Now these are termed rapid acting as they are rapidly absorbed after subcutaneous administration and act quickly. Onset of action is between 12 to 18 minutes and uh, the peak effect is uh, seen in 1 to 1 and half hours and duration of action uh, lasts for 3 to 5 hours. Now these insulin preparations control postprandial that is after meals rise in blood glucose levels and their onset is also very rapid and therefore these are usually administered three times daily immediately before or after breakfast, lunch and dinner. Now this red color graph is for short acting regular insulin which has an onset of action of uh, 30 to 60 minutes. Peak is seen in uh, 2 to 3 hours and the duration of action is for 6 to 8 hours. Now this preparation is termed as short acting as its uh, duration of action is short that is between uh, 6 to 8 hours. Now like rapid acting insulin preparations, these insulin preparations also control postprandial that is after meals rise in blood glucose. And since their onset is between 30 to 60 minutes, these should be administered 30 minutes before the breakfast, lunch and dinner. Now adherence to this schedule of administration 30 minutes before the meals is often inconvenient and thus rapid acting insulin preparations are preferred over short acting insulin preparations. 
Now this green color graph is for intermediate acting insulin preparation uh, that is NPH insulin. Now NPH stands for neutral protamine hadidon. Now this is termed intermediate acting insulin as its duration is between 20 to 24 hours that is neither too long nor too short. It is absorbed slowly in the blood and onset is within 1 to 2 hours of administration. Now the peak, the peak is seen in 8 to 10 hours and this is usually administered twice daily and control blood glucose between meals and overnight that is when we are not fasting. Now this black color graph is for long acting insulin preparations, insulin glargine and insulin detimer are insulin analogs. These are absorbed slowly and onset is within 1 to 4 hours. No peak is observed and these insulin preparations produce consistent lowering of blood glucose levels throughout the 24 hours. These are usually administered once daily and control blood glucose uh, during fasting that is when we are not eating uh, that is between the meals and overnight. So this is in brief classification of uh, insulin preparations with the help of a simple chart. Please note that the information provided in this video is for general awareness. There is no standard insulin therapy. So do not use this information for self-medication. Always consult your physician for the treatment of diabetes mellitus. If you find this video useful, kindly like, subscribe and share this video. Thanks for watching this video.